Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today I'm going to be showing you three city of tweaks that you can use to protect your content on your device. Um, there's several different things you can do. First off, let's turn our brightness down so you can see better. Uh, the first one I want to go over is called 360 Mobile Safe. I did a review on this a few months back but they have since updated it to a, the pro version and it was free at the time and I think it still is free but they have added a battery manager here I know they've got the new mark it tells how much batteries you got left on your device uh, the cool thing about this is you can block any type of phone calls or SMS messages or anything of that sort from someone that maybe is harassing you or maybe uh, it's someone that you w want a phone call from but you want to send them a specific message back to let them know I'm going to be back in five minutes call me at such and such you can add a specialized uh, return message and in here is where you block the calls you see you can add SMS messages here to to block or phone numbers to block you create white, what's called blacklist or whitelist and you can change the type of block mode you can change it to hang up or only accept calls from contacts only accept calls from whitelist or block all bl blacklisted callers and that's probably the way I would use it if I was going to. It even has a night mode. And here's this call block action that you can change. And here you see the reply message you can change right here. I've got bite me, I'm busy entered in there. So anyone on my blacklist will automatically get that reply message if they try to call or send me a text message. And you can turn your indicator eye on on or off up here in your status bar that's going to be left up to you uh, in, I mean the in the status bar and it also has an indicator on the icon that would show like if you've got uh, messages or something from block callers which is pretty neat to have you also have what's called a strong box and inside the strong box you can create a place for like pictures so you have some private pictures that you want to keep in there um, I have one of me here at the dentist and you can see it's pretty pretty op uh, scary looking actually but I just did that for to be silly uh, but anyway that picture at the moment isn't on my device it's only shown in the strong box so if someone were to be flipping through my photos on my device they wouldn't be able to see that guys that is a very very in-depth tweak and it would take an hour to do a video covering everything on it uh, you can system clean and you see it scans everything here and and you can clean up memory and do all I mean this does about everything imaginable network status how much you've downloaded for the month week day and it even has an anti theft you can notify if somebody turns on the uh, uh, tries to change the sim card you can set it to take photos it has a trigger warning that makes a big loud noise if they try to do certain things that's probably one of the most well protected tweaks in Cydia right there guys and the awesome thing about it is it's free alright if you're just wanting a way to lock down certain applications I would recommend one called App Locker A-P-P-L-O-C-K-E-R App Locker and what App Locker does is it allows you to assign specific right here you can set it up for specific applications and you can set that certain password uh, to open that application and I have mine set right now for the calculator alright when I tap calculator I automatically get this pop-up asking me for my password now the cool thing about app locker is 
when you type in the correct password it automatically opens you don't have to hit enter you don't have to hit nothing else I think that is awesome that's what these other developers need to follow that lead right there and get that you know going right but app locker is pretty awesome you sort of get the gist of the idea there's a lot more that you can do inside here it's got some different animations you can add you can change your uh, password uh, you can set up certain applications like I said you turn them on or off you go in here and you go into applications and you flip it on or off if you want to and you can lock the jiggle mode you can you can lock your layout you can lock folders and you can do um, when you're here's another awesome feature when you're on like your home network you can set it here to automatically open your applications without having to enter in the password so if you feel safe at home then you don't have to worry about password protecting your messages or your photos or anything like that you can go ahead and just set it to open automatically without a password last but not least is one called protect i protect i is 299 and i think app blockers 99 cents i'll have the price in the description but protect i is an awesome application too and it requires a password as well let's go into protect i here and you see right here you get this thing you just have to enable it and then you choose the apps that you want it to protect and once it's protected you you got an activation method so you don't have to have this enabled all the time say you want to say a friend wanted to borrow your phone well you could set this to activate when you shake it alright so when the when the device is shaken like that then you're gonna get an input password you have to input the password and then it activates the tweak and I've just got a generic password of zero 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 and now we can go in and set up anything we want uh, you can activate vibrations you can disable uh, notifications spotlight you can set it up however you want it to search if you don't want emails to come up in the spotlight you can go under here and turn it on and spotlight won't search through emails or contacts or whatever else you want it to set up this again is a very in-depth tweak guys it's an awesome tweak and these are three of the best tweaks in Cydia for protecting your uh, sensitive material so check them out and don't forget to like the video and please post it to your Facebook. Please tweet it. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button before you leave and keep coming back.